Hi, and welcome to UWA. In this short video, we'll explain how to enrol as a new postgraduate coursework student. In what follows, we're going to lead you through the enrolment process, from checking the details we have about you to enrolling in your units. To enrol, you'll need two things, your UWA student number, which is available on your letter of offer, and your FEMI password, which you can activate through the UniStart website. If you are a citizen or a resident of Australia, you'll also need your tax file number. It's best to have these things all handy when you enrol. You can access the UWA enrolment system Student Connect via the UniStart website or the current student's homepage and log in with your student number and FEMI password. When you enrol for the first time, there are 10 steps to complete. We'll go through each of these in turn now. First, after you log in, check that your personal details are correct. If there's an error, you'll have to make changes in person at Student Central. Follow the link for the map on where to go and make sure you bring appropriate documents with you. If all is correct, click Proceed. Next, check that your addresses are correct and complete. You'll need three, a contact address for correspondence, a home address, and the name and contact details of a person who we can contact if you're involved in an emergency situation. The next step collects information required by the Australian Government. Check the accuracy of any information that is already recorded and provide missing information where required. If your citizenship status or Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander status isn't correct, you'll need to visit Student Central with your appropriate documents to have your details updated. Your course details in Step 4 should also be pre-filled, but think carefully if you need to make any changes. If you're planning to study part-time, you should change your expected completion date to a later one. You'll be asked to complete this step each year, and it's important to keep us up to date with any changes to your expected completion date. If you think your course is wrong or you would like to change it, contact Student Central. The next step will only be visible to you if a specialisation is required for your course. You'll usually only have to choose one. We recommend you use the advanced search button. Choose at least one specialisation from the list available in your course, then confirm the changes and finish the step. Domestic students will now go to step six. If you're an international student, skip ahead to step seven. There are two e-forms in ECAF step six. Fee help and hex help if you want to defer all or part of your tuition fees and SA help to apply for assistance with your student services and amenities fee. Here you might need your tax file number. If you are a domestic postgraduate fee-paying student, this step is optional. For domestic Commonwealth supported students, this step is mandatory. Step 7 gives you a message from the Vice-Chancellor and the chance to select the memberships you'd like. Membership of the UWA Student Guild is free and entitles you to access a wide range of services including academic counselling, representation and advocacy, and financial assistance, to be actively involved in Guild decisions and sit on committees as well as run for elective office in the Guild. You can also get discounts at all Guild outlets. Membership of UWA Sports is also free and entitles you to vote in UWA Sport and Recreation Association elections. Check out the Guild and UWA Sports websites for more information. Step 8 involves signing your student declaration, accepting the policies of UWA, your rights and responsibilities, and that you've provided accurate information. It's your responsibility to inform yourself of the important dates across the year and to manage your enrolment. This is a legal declaration, so read it carefully. Finally, you've reached the point at which you enrol in your units. Remember, you're not enrolled until you successfully add your units and complete this step. If you haven't previously completed the compulsory online module Academic Conduct Essentials, or ACE, you'll notice it appears automatically in your list of units. It gives you a great head start in your first year and you must complete it through the LMS before week 10 in your first semester to avoid a fail on your record. If you're starting in first semester, make sure you enrol in units for both semesters 1 and 2. You can always change your units later if you need to. Have the handbook website open in another tab to help you out with the unit codes if you need. To add units, search for the unit code or use the advanced search option. Then click Add, tick box, and Add to Cart. As you add new units, they will be highlighted in pink. This is how it should look. When you're ready to enrol in your list of units, click the Proceed to Checkout button. If any of your units are highlighted in green, like this, it means they're invalid and you don't appear to meet the unit rules, for example, you might not have the right prerequisites. 
These invalid units will be reviewed by your faculty later. They won't stop you from enrolling and registering for classes, so continue on. If you have any questions, check out Ask UWA. Now that you've enrolled in all your units, click the Finish Online Enrollment button to complete the enrollment process. Clicking on Course and Unit in the menu will take you to a summary of your unit enrollment for the current academic year, which you can print off and keep for your reference. You can always return to Student Connect whenever you want to check your units. Remember, your enrolment is your responsibility. Congratulations, you're now officially a postgraduate student at UWA. Next, you'll need to choose your classes and create your timetable so you're ready for your first class. You can get more advice and help from any of these resources. We hope you enjoy your time here at UWA.